Joining us on Blitz is second year head coach John Cornett of the Towns County Indians and no better time right now to be a Towns County coach. Uh, coach Cornett, thank you so much for your time and, and I know you got to be absolutely thrilled. First time in school history this team is going to state. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, you know, I, I don't think the, the people of Towns County knew what would happen this year. I, I think the players believed in it and just to see the look on their faces of just something accomplished for the whole community is a great feeling to be part of. And what is that excitement level right now at Towns County? Could you even fit that on a chart? Because I imagine it's just yeah. berserk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, there's no way to describe it, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I, I guess the best, the best emotion that I see is from one of our assistant coaches, Chris Vardo, who's been coaching here for 14 years plus maybe. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was after the Providence game. He's just staring off into the sky in awe because he's been through it, you know. And, and I, man, I, I give him so much credit in the world because, you know, he came back every year to coach yeah, knowing knowing what the past was and knowing a little bit about the future and just putting the time in every year because he loves the kids and he loves coaching and to see that it has finally paid off it was a great i mean i'll never forget that look oh that's real. that's really cool yeah. and and that actually goes yeah. exactly where i was going to ask you next is yeah. you know this this is not just the culmination of one year i mean how much of, yeah. of this moment and this this uh, circumstance can go back to you know the former players that have helped pave yeah. the way i mean because even last year was a great year being able to beat hayesville and you talked yeah. to me last year about the excitement walking through the, the hallways yeah. at school and all, but how much yeah. of this is, is a result of the people who paid their dues on the way here? Right. Yeah, I, you know, I think of last year's seniors, and I don't think they understood it when I told it to them, but, you know, there were, there were two things that stuck out in my mind about them. They bought in, and they never quit. And, you know, for a new guy like me to come in – you know, cheering them on and being positive, telling them big things, it would have been easy for them to be like, man, this guy is full of whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they believe me, and they and and just them never quitting based on the history shows a lot about their character. And, you know, I know our record last year was only 3-7, and seven, but there were two or three games that could have gone either way for us last year, we felt. Um, we just it, we just couldn't quite get it last year, but they started it, mm -hmm. and the seniors this year stepped up and wanted to take it further than them because of what last year's seniors did. Uh, so it does. It, it just it's a it's a snowball effect. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, and and I will tell you this: the crazy thing is, we'll be better next year. Yeah, for oh, it, for it all, for all of them. Yeah. Yeah, well said too. I mean, last year, this those guys from last year, this is for them too. You know, they're a part of this. Absolutely. Um, and and what was it like for you guys though, having to you close the season out very strong, three out of the last four games, you get the win, two in right. a row to to finish off, and then you got to yeah. sit back and wait on those uh, power rankings to come out. Yeah. Uh, what was yeah. that like for you guys? Well, um, yeah, that was that was tough. I, I really, though, I really felt like we would be in. We had, like I said, we have this guy down in Commerce that counts the points on his own, and he told us exactly what needed to happen. So about the third quarter, somebody gave me the updates, and the two teams we needed to lose were losing. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so we felt pretty good, but, but you never know. Yeah. You know, with the point system – there could be an error along the way, um, and and it would have. I know it would have broke the hearts of a lot of our players, and and it would. I would have hurt for weeks. Um, but you just gotta, you just gotta trust and have faith, and that everything will work out. And I just know this: our boys deserve it. Absolutely, they deserve everything they're getting. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, like you said, as long you close the season out on a strong mm -hmm. note in the regular season, yeah. so at least you know. Had it not gone that way, you guys did everything you had to do. 
That's um, right. Absolutely. But, but now that that's, you know, not to rain on the parade, but I'm sure you've already done this with the guys too, but you know, now it's back to business. You got to take care of Pelham right. and you got to go on the road. Yeah. Early uh, indications have you guys actually um, Max Preps has run their thing and and have you guys as the favorite, which is uh, be you know interesting being on the road too. Um, yeah. But what are you guys doing to prepare for that game? I know they got a stud uh, dual threat. I think he's a sophomore right. quarterback, Kendrick Patterson. Yeah. Um, yeah. We know we know going down there what we're up against. They have some some good athletes. I know their fullback or, or their tailback, maybe they call him. He's, he's a load and he will try to run you over. Um, but I will say this. I, I don't think that I'd want to be a team having to play Towns County. Yeah. Um, you know, like we, we've got a chip on our shoulder. We're experiencing something we've never had before. And you could almost say that we have nothing to lose and that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. You know that, that that's and, and we're playing pretty good ball right now too. So I'd hate to be playing us. Oh, absolutely! And you got you got a lot of weapons there yourself. So yeah, uh, coach, yeah absolutely. Con- congrats again on on this season. It's not over yet, and so we're hoping. That's right. Hoping like heck you guys get a win that down there at Pelham and keep this thing alive a little bit longer. Well, but uh, congrats yeah. again on on a yeah. fantastic historic year. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, and I thank you guys for all your support. It's I know the boys appreciate it, and no, nobody. There's not a moment that we're not talking about it up here. So, <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you for everything. Absolutely, go Indians. <laughs> That's right, buddy.